Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Texan GR138. It's an AM FM shortwave portable emergency radio. I purchased this radio for about $37 from a Hong Kong seller. And here it is. The radio caught my eye, the design. I thought that was pretty cool for an emergency radio. Texan GR138. Got pictures of it there. Some Chinese writing. I believe there's mainly Chinese writing on this box. Yeah, it's all pretty much Chinese here. Let's see the back. So we got some bullet points. There's the back of the radio and some little symbols. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Always the best part. Okay, box is empty. Yeah, not much in the box. It's a pretty basic setup. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lower this down a little bit. Okay, so first thing we get here is a little pamphlet. It's operation guide, I guess. Just a basic, at least it's English. Kind of showing you where everything is at. It's a pretty basic uh, setup. Uh, they say for 90 seconds you'll get 40 to 60 minutes of radio function. Uh, not true. <laughs> Uh, maybe if the battery's topped off, maybe, but it's with a dead battery. Nope. Um, there you go. But that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I wound it and wound it. And I probably got a minute. <laughs> I might even need a battery for it. I'm not sure. There you go. It marks some reception, rechargeable batteries. Okay, there you go. There's some specifications. 88 to 108 on the FM, medium wave, 530 to 1610, short wave, 3.2 to 22. That's pretty nice. All right, so there you go. Okay, so I think it's pretty much an easy setup. We'll just go ahead and go for the radio. Comes a bubble wrap. Let's go ahead and take it out of there. All right. Yeah, it's quite the big radio. I'm going to kind of have to do it on an angle, maybe. Bring this up some more. Okay, okay. All right, so the Texan GR138. It's a cool look. It reminds me of that GE that I have. The old school GEs. You know, you know the ones I'm talking about with the AC cord in them and stuff. Kind of has that flair to it. I like that. That's what made me decide to get this radio. So let's go over dimensions of the radio. We have four and three quarter inches across. We have a length of eight inches. We have a case depth of two and a quarter inches. And for size comparison, I don't have any big radios like this, so I'll just bring out a little CC pocket. <laughs> get the idea. This is a pretty, pretty good size radio. All right. And I think, do I have anything else to show? I, let's see what I have handy. I have a Tib Dio hanging out. Tib Dio. There you go. Get an idea. All right. So let's go over features of this radio. Okay. On the left hand side, we have our antenna. It's blacked out here, which I really think is cool looking. Got like a rib design there all the way up. This antenna extends out to 27 inches. So you get some decent reception with that. In front of the radio, we have our dial. FM 87 to 108, medium wave 525 to 1610. It's got an orange indicator, and you're going to see something. There's a little amber LED that lights up when you turn the radio on. It's aimed right at the indicator, and when it's really dark, you can just make out these numbers, top and bottom numbers here. So you can read the scale at night, which is good. You just can't read the short wave, unfortunately. We got a log scale. We have the short wave 1, 3.2 to 9.0, and then we have short wave 2, 9.0 to 22 megahertz. Then we got GR138. We got the World receiver there. The speaker behind here is about a three inch speaker. Texan. Okay, right hand side, we have the tuning wheel. Uh, it's actually really easy to tune, real smooth. And right next to it, it says uh, fine tuning. Now, the fine tuning doesn't move this at all. It's some type of, I believe, a capacitor or resistor. I don't know how it works, but it works with the circuit so you can fine tune the station uh, that you're near on shortwave. It only works on shortwave, not medium wave or FM. So, kind of interesting how that, that works. Here we have the volume control on off switch. And there's that amber LED that lights up that indicator. And I'll turn the lights off when we're doing the audio test so you can see that. Pretty cool. Okay, so on the right hand side we also get this neural design which I think is pretty cool. Neat. At the top here we have the handle with some information on there. 
Texan GR138 and has the frequency ranges there again, some Chinese stuff. Back of the radio is kind of interesting. We have a light. <laughs> this light's fairly weak. It's an amber light. I, it's like they shouldn't even bother. It's like an orange light. I mean, you could read with it if you have to. Um, it's pretty basic. It has alert function, which sometimes works. Um, it blinks real slow. Um, or if it decides to. <laughs> so one thing I noticed about this thing is like, okay, you're going to blink or what? So let's see if we can get it to blink. There you go. Save me. SOS. Not really, but... Yeah, don't rely on that to get you help. Um, but that's, yeah, it's there, I guess, for novelty. Here we have a band select switch. Um, FM, medium wave, short wave 1, short wave 2. Pretty solid feeling. I have a headphone jack that uh, has uh, low-level hiss, kind of annoying. Pretty much you're going to use this radio with its main speaker. Its main purpose is to just listen for forecast of what's going on in your neighborhood. Uh, here we have a AA battery and rechargeable battery selector. So right now we're on AA battery. Here you go to your rechargeables. Here we have a DC in of 5 volts. Um, they don't include that cable, unfortunately. That's to charge the nickel metal hydro batteries. Um, I'd like that. Try to find a cable that would work. That'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure I could. Uh, here's the power generator, which is pretty nice. And you got the charge indicator light there. So when you spin this, you can see it's turning red there. I don't like turning these things, but it actually feels pretty high quality. It reminds me of the uh, Eaton uh, FR200 that I reviewed. I think it's almost identical. Uh, here's the battery compartment. We'll open it up, show you what's on the inside. So right now I'm running two, it takes two AA batteries as alternate power source, or that little battery pack, one of those little miniature three cell varieties. So that's what that is. So we'll go ahead and put that back in. Oh, and for those who need to know which direction the batteries go, it looks like the left battery positive is to the top, and the right battery, the positive, is to the bottom of the radio. There you go. Kind of a funky setup. All right. So, and of course, this radio stands real nicely. Boom. Okay, let's talk about FM reception on this radio. Um, yeah, I wish I could put this whole, whole thing in frame, but I'm just going to leave the handle up out of the frame there. Uh, FM reception. FM sensitivity. So, the, this is radio right in the middle. So, I have a fair, okay, good, very good, excellent um, ratings. This falls right in the middle of OK to good. It found about 50 stations, which is very good for an analog receiver. Um, being it's pure analog, not DSP, which I like. It's smooth tuning. Um, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's just on average on par with every other analog receiver that I've tuned pretty much besides my super radio. Um, so it gets that OK to good rating. Um, FM selectivity is the same OK to good. Again, you get the same selectivity on all my radios as I would this radio. Um, on the analog scale, for some reason, it's always the same. Um, always tunes the strong stations in okay. Uh, distant stations sometimes are swamped by the, the analog tuning, but uh, that might be the AFC circuit, possibly. There's no way to turn that off. Uh, but that's that's the rating, yay. So overall, a solid FM analog circuit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this on, and we're going to go to the FM band. So let's make sure we're on FM. So FM is the top, and then we'll turn this on. I'm in the wrong. See, I keep thinking this is the on. It's not. That's the fine tuning. So we'll turn us on. And we'll see if we can pick up Totterbert. There it is. We'll run it for a little bit. Now this thing sits on an angle because of that power generator.
There we go. Get an idea for the audio. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty decent. I like it, and it's pretty cool how that lights up like that. So it's it's kind of an interesting radio. Uh, pretty lightweight uh, feeling. So let's go ahead and turn off that. And what we'll do here is get the short wave going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise this antenna up a little bit. I'm going to clip my little extender wire here, which I have from a PL380 Texan. And uh, here it is. And I'm just going to hook it to this just like that. And we'll see if we can do anything on the short wave tonight. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the scale here. And we'll go to short wave one. And we'll see if we can pick anything up. All right. I kind of gotta lower this down. Okay. Let's move the length on that wire. Okay. Okay, hold on. I might be on. Okay. Is that a medium wave? <laughs> Fine tuning. Today in this society, in this end time Babylon, that's the way it is, man. You say, hey, listen, I want to wait till I'm married till I have sex. People will look at you like you have a third eye, man. Like they will look at you like you are just, you know, you're, you're polka dotted, uh, you're, you're sky blue pink. You know? Fine tuning. Kind of data mode, probably. Fine tuning looks all really nice.
So the interesting thing here is the fine tuning does have a stop to it. You can put it in the middle. And it just, yeah, it helps you fine tune it when you get on station. over the place. <laughs> like, I own the short wave. <laughs> It gives you a taste for the shortwave. Yeah, I kind of went on there. But, uh, yeah, really good shortwave receiver. Um, really happy with it. Real sensitive. Uh, pretty happy with that, too, being analog. And you can dial in with this fine tuning. It's really nice. Like I say, it stops one way, and then you go this other way. And there's a stop. Like I said, it only works on shortwave. So, but it is a handy little feature to kind of dial right on into that, uh, sound, right into the voice, which is really nice. So it's almost like a single sideband thing, even though it's not. All right, let's go ahead and pull this off here. We're going to go do some medium wave hunting. See what this thing does on the AM band at night. And, of course, we're going to do a daytime band scan with this radio and probably revisit it in this nighttime, too, in a different location because I have a wire upstairs that might have better reception. You might hear a little bit more, so and maybe get some more selectivity. So we're going to go ahead and do some medium wave. Go to the back here. So we're going to go up one. Okay, you can see where it's pointing, the arrow. All right, let's go put that back over. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire this up on the medium wave. I love how that glows. It's like bright. 
in person, it's awesome. Okay, let's put on like an angle like this and see what we can hear. Oh yeah, time. <laughs> it's 10:30 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. So you guys know for a short wave scan, and of course where I'm at. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can find what this thing. Two on and nobody out. Okay, Keith Henry has walked the first two guys. Okay, five sixty. Um, local station. The answer. Those fine tuning and volume knobs are pretty close together. This is a 620 WTMJ Milwaukee, that's why it's coming in nice. Music this is CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles. Actually, that might not be, that might be 640. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it's 640. It's a little closer. It's WMFN, Pietone, Illinois, 75 miles away, 1600 watt tower. So we can get Nashville right next to it. Mississippi, and uh, he is making his Grand Ole Opry debut tonight. So we're always happy to get the six fifty to the S M Nashville, Tennessee, four hundred thirty-four miles. Tonight, and this is his second show, so we get two in one cool. night tonight. <laughs> He is from the state of Mississippi. He's signed with Sony HEV. He is um, the Sirius XM Highway. Uh, Y'all uh, know the highway. Y'all listen to that, don't you? All right. He is the artist. State 5 0 after a 28 win for BC, Iowa State 48, Oklahoma State 48. WSCR, the score, 670. Indicators pre dead on. Later on tonight, UFC 229 from Vegas. Electric has been in business for over 34 years, and they've won the Angie's List Super Service Award every single year since 2007. No matter what kind of electric work you need, Craftsman Electric can handle it. So looking no at uh, big, WLW no Cincinnati, small. Ohio, Don't 300 trust miles. Electrical work to a heating and cooling company. Call the experts at yet yeah, Notre Dame, Virginia Tech. Notre Dame has the lead in Northern Illinois, 24-16 over Ball State. In the American League. Division Series, WGM. Houston beat Indiana 3-1, to one. Yankees at Boston still underway. WGN traffic, you got stop and go. Okay, music from 740 CFZM, Zoomer Radio, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Sweet. and the folks of regions. Activity seems uh, pretty good. Right 750, WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Final game stats presented by Train. It's hard nice. to stop by Train. And when we look at uh, the stop, one of the things was hard to stop was from to Terry Godwin early in the game. Um, today, 122 people. 760, WJR Detroit, 270 miles. Attend the 27th annual Ringside for Mercy's Sake. Saturday 780, WBBM. 
I'm probably going to stop around a thousand. We're going to do some daytime band scans and then we'll give my final thoughts on this. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. And I can't get CCO. So right here, KOA, Denver. Cool, so this is uh, 890 miles. So it's capable. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. This is WLW. Or, <laughs> I always get that wrong. Did I get that right? 870 WWL. <laughs> Cut back and forth. Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Kind of fading away. Eight ninety WLS, Chicago. Oklahoma goes down. Yep. Uh, pardon me, LSU. LSU. Who hangs ahead at number five. They go down. Oklahoma was seven. They lose. And Ogeron at LSU recruited me to USC. Okay, that was uh, ESPN 1000, WMVP Chicago. Let's go ahead and turn this off, and we'll do our final thoughts. Let me just kind of bring this up maybe, get a better profile. We'll talk about this. Okay, so, yeah, the Texan, GR138. Um, like I said, you can find it, I think, for $37, $38. Bucks. Um, is it a buy? It, it's cool for what it is. Um, I personally like the looks, and I like the the uh, reception capabilities of this radio. I think it's cool. You guys might, but the they have they still make the other one, the FR200 variety. I can't remember the GE rating on that one. They still make it. You can still buy it. Uh, that one's actually a better emergency radio. The reason why I say that is number one, uh, it has a better light source if you need it for a light because this little amber light, I didn't even show you what it looks like. I'm not even going to bother, you know, in the dark. It just, yeah, it's not, it's yellow. I don't get it, but um, this is an older radio, I think, uh, but just perked my interest. I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, another thing is the capacity of the external batteries. I only got two AA batteries. I don't see that lasting very long in an emergency situation. You know, if you're in need, these aren't going to lie. I put lithiums in there, but they're not going to last that long. This, this pack's pretty small. So, yeah, if I was to recommend a Texan emergency radio, I'd probably recommend that FR200 variant uh, because it has better battery capacity, number one. Plus, its shortwave, I believe, is better in the fact that you can fine-tune it much easier because it has the coarse tuning and the fine-tuning, continuous fine-tuning, which I like. It's more of a knob style, um, which is way better. Um, and it, it, just for me in general, that, that's a way better setup. So, but this is just kind of unique and different. Thought it'd be cool to showcase to you guys. And one of you guys might like this and go, hey, I like that. I like the way the dial lights up. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's, it's a bit of a novelty. Um, it is smooth tuning. It is analog. People do like that. So if you enjoyed the presentation, I would, like I said, you can skip this one. If you're looking to buy an emergency radio and you know and you want to text and check out the other one, the FR200, it's a G something series. You know what I'm talking about. It's just like the Eaton FR200. Search that and you'll see, you'll see the Texan variety. That's the one I'd recommend you buy. Uh, but we will revisit this radio with some band scans and see how it performs in the daytime and nighttime full scans. All righty, cool. So if you enjoyed the presentation of this review, please give me a like. I appreciate it. Two, uh, if you're new to the channel, you like Texan radios, I have a lot of them. I have a whole Texan playlist. Go check it out. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of future videos, especially with this one involved. And uh, yeah, be cool to watch. And then three, comment below what you think about the GR138. Would you buy something like this? Would you skip it? Um, totally up to you. I mean, that's just my opinion. I think it is cool looking. Um, it has that nostalgic feel to it. 
But uh, like I say, it lacks in a couple things, uh, key aspects. I like battery capacity and the tuning ability. I like the, the knob on the other radio better, much better than this one. But it's still fun, fun to use. It's a fun radio, should I call it. <laughs> uh, definitely a neat radio. Okay, and then uh, for uh, join my Patreon over here with a big P, just click it and come over and check it out. Some free stuff for you guys to listen to, old-time radio shows, Inside uh, this radio, I don't know. Yeah, I'll make this public. So there'll be pictures of this radio. I'll link below. Uh, and you can see the inside of this radio. It's pretty cool looking. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.